na zoom do 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 dedi de ropo do bado mana mana na zoom na mana 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 all right guys i just pulled the fuel shut off solenoid off of my uh, fummins and i'm going to exchange the chinese made one for the oem cummins one here and i wanted to show you some of the differences in them all right we have off aftermarket on the left and we have the oem model there on the right um the oem model there on the right uh the silver colored has eist on there that's the manufacturing plant in china that it was done and the uh, solenoid on the left was aftermarket that i think i got off of ebay most everything's the same two and a half inch drill uh, on the mount for them both sides here's a difference look at the difference in the size of a lug nut i mean a tightening nut here the oem is smaller so it's more lightweight down there and the uh, boots thicker on the oem Here's some prices. Look at that, $651 at that spot, $876. Now that comes with the kit. Here is the one that I bought, the $76, $75 one. This is non-OEM, still at $253. Look at this Dodge. This is one that a lot of people go to, $716, $745. First Goodness. of all, now both of them had this uh, three-prong um, connection both of them had that uh, i cut it off of this one and i'm going to cut it off of this one because i want to do straight uh, wiring in for it and and so i just wanted to show you now this was a solenoid that was that i found very expensive on evil bay and uh, there's the uh, part number for it yeah, if you want this one sl3931570 and this one is uh cummins the um, a model number is 4089577 and you see it also is a uh is a 12 volt so um there it is um so you see there's not a whole lot of difference one of the differences is the weight uh that the that these are um and what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to disconnect it right there at the band and pull this out and show you the difference in weight but I have my wife's scale over here, and I'll just kind of give you an idea of what the weight difference is. It's not a whole lot, but you can uh, tell. So there's one pound, almost eight ounces, right? One pound, almost that. Well, that's actually a tenth of an ounce, but 1.01 ounces, okay? One pound, 0.01 ounces, almost. All right, let's put the Cummins OEM on there. Now, we'll subtract a little bit here from the uh, connection, connector that's on there because it weighs a little bit. But you can see this is 1.1. It's uh, almost a full uh, tenth of an ounce heavier. And I can tell you that if you take this off right there, all right, it's... Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.02 heavier uh, than the um, Chinese made one here. Um, but I can tell you just by feeling it that this part up here is much heavier than this part on this one. And so I'm hoping that I have a harder pull on this one here. Uh, we'll see if that's that's the case. But let's see, show you some of the other differences that are in it. First of all, the boot that's on it, you can see that the boot here is is uh, wider. Take a look there. You can see that it is it is wider. So there's a lot more flexibility in this as it snaps up. A lot more flexibility in that. Uh, this one. It's, it pulls up and it, it just feels flimsy in there. Um, and the spring that's on the top of this one pushes down a lot more than what this one does. Okay. Um, 
on my unit, my my main problem that I was having on mine was that uh, it would it would pull up all right, but it wouldn't stay. I had to go in there and physically push it up to keep it to stay, and I would stay once once you pushed it up, it would stay. But that quick little transition, it wasn't all the way up there, so the pull was happening. And since my engine just starts quickly, um, it uh, hasn't. It doesn't have enough time to move that lever all the way up. The lever is actually moving. The, the fuel cutoff lever is uh, actually moving during that entire time. And so uh, you can see that uh, on uh, here, this is the uh, actual Cummins, and uh, this is the uh, ripoff from uh, China. Uh, it's heavier. Uh, you, you can tell that it's constructed a lot heavier. Now, I know that a lot of these are uh, constructed in uh, China, but these are under the uh, guidance of Cummins. And um, so I anticipate I'm going to get a much better response off of this one. I'm going to go hook it up here in just a little bit, and uh, we'll get a look at that. You notice that the pull worked just fine, but the hold run did not stay up on that. So we're going to take a look at it again here in uh, slow motion so you can kind of get a good look at it. So you see it came up just fine, slow motion here, and it's going to release it real quickly. There it goes. It released it. Now let's take a look at a modification that we did overnight. So I was losing some daylight yesterday and uh, I was not able to make the adjustment. But uh, this is the next day. Let's take a look at the adjustment we've made. We've shortened the the uh, shaft that goes down on the uh, uh, down to the shutoff uh, to the shutoff uh, valve, uh, and uh, you'll see that it operates a lot better. So you see, after you make that adjustment, it operates a lot better. And because it's an OEM, it uh, goes down and comes back up a lot easier. I don't have to have an extra spring. Uh, it operates the way it's supposed to. So OEM is really the better way to go. And uh, I uh, found this one at Poor Man's Diesel, and it's uh, the $75 one, and I can't find them any cheaper than that. And that is the OEM. Much, much better quality than what you're going to find uh, at those uh, aftermarket uh, and uh, foreign made ones. Here's Shaggy and he says uh, it works a lot better that way. He's ready to go for a ride. 